A special imaging tool could help bring down high rates of myopia in Singapore children. Well, it's developed by the Singapore Eye Research Institute and the Singapore National Eye Centre. Joining us to tell us more is Professor Leopold Schmetterer from the Singapore Eye Research Institute. And he's joining us on Zoom from Valencia in Spain. Uh, Professor, thank you for uh, joining us. So tell us a little bit more about this imaging tool. I mean, what makes it so special and how is it different from a regular eye test uh, for, for children at this point? Yes, good evening. Uh, the tool that has been developed by us at Singapore Eye Research Institute is indeed special and it's not simply another test for, for, uh, for visual function, but it for the first time images the human sclera and the sclera is actually the, the tissue in the eye that is responsible for keeping the eye shape. And myopia is basically a disease where the development of the eye shape during childhood is not normal. And this means that the eye is elongated, it's pathologically elongated. And with this tool, we can see the very early structural changes in this tissue, the sclera, as you can see here in this video. And this allows us to predict how much the eye will elongate in the future. So it's important that it does not only tell you about the status of the eye at this level of childhood, but it's also what we are going to expect when the once the child has grown up and the level of the myopia that these patients will experience in the future. Professor Schmetterer, take us through, if you will, a little bit about how that process works, the technology that's involved and how eye doctors can actually read those images that you just showed there on the screen. What can they indicate? Well, approximately 20 years ago, a technique called optical coherence tomography was developed. At that time, I was still in Vienna, and the Vienna Institute had an important role in, in co-developing this technology. And this technology has now become the gold standard in imaging. But so far, uh, the OCT was only capable of imaging the retina and the choroid, so the more inner structures of, of, the, uh, of the eye. And with some modifications to the system, we have developed uh, a novel technology where we can also see in the very deep tissues, and this is actually the sclera. And uh, the, the doctors or, or the technicians who deal with these images can simply see uh, changes in the collagen arrangement of the sclera. And this is more or less what determines the biomechanical properties of the sclera. And as such, it's very easy to read for, for, for uh, physicians. They simply see abnormalities of the normal collagen formation within the sclera, and as such can predict the risk for kids developing high myopia. And it's important to understand that it is, this, it is this high myopia that puts you on the risk of getting blind later in life. So these subjects would not normally experience loss of vision in, in their youth or in their childhood, but they have an increased risk of having a, a, a risk of, 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 of vision when they get 50s, 60s, or even in their 50s, 60s, or even older. Professor Schmetter, on the point of the rate at which we're seeing myopia impact individuals, and particularly uh, with children, is one of the highest in the world, affects seven to nine-year-olds a great deal. And we do see the rates here in Singapore They've been historically high, in fact. Do you anticipate that this imaging tool might even be able to bring down the rate here in Singapore? And, and how might that be? Yeah, this is what we aim for. We aim that we aim that this tool will bring down the rates of myopia in Singapore, because when we can predict in the children who will actually develop high myopia. We have much better opportunities uh, to treat this subject early and more aggressively. We have treatments available like topical atropine, 
But at the moment, uh, we we don't know exactly what's a, a child's risk of developing high myopia. And with this tool, we are for the first time able to predict who is going to develop high myopia and who is needs to be treated accordingly. And definitely, we hope that this will bring down uh, the incidence of high myopia. And high myopia, as I said, is, is the critical issue because this is associated with the loss of vision later in life. Mm. So, uh, Professor, aside from high myopia and, you know, potential loss of um, vision down the road, what other serious eye conditions in adulthood can this uh, particular, you know, test actually, you know, uh, give, a, give us a sort of other ideas of other eye diseases? Yeah, we have our our main research was so much directed so far directed towards myopia, because myopia to a certain degree is the biggest problem in the Singapore population due to the high prevalence. But we have now also interesting data in glaucoma because in glaucoma this is a disease that that uh, damages the optic nerve head, and again this is associated with changes in the biomechanical properties of the eye. And we have seen that this can also be visualized by uh, the, the, the new imaging tool. And as such, we hope that we can also better personalize uh, glaucoma treatment. And together with people from the retina department from the Singapore National Eye Center, we are also looking into our opportunities to look in this tool for age-related macular degeneration. And here we are mainly looking into fibrosis. And this is interesting because there is no doubt that fibrosis is one of the key features of, of blinding disease in age-related macular degeneration. And as such, th this is an interesting tool because it really targets the three major causes of blindness in Singapore. And this is glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, and myopia nowadays. Thank you for those insights, Professor Schmetterer, Professor Leopold Schmetterer, their scientific director and head ocular imaging at the Singapore Eye Research Institute. Thank you.